Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Audio Thing, and today I'm going to be walking you through the brand new Frostbite 2 multi-effect plugin. This is a paid upgrade from Frostbite 1 if you already have it. If you're looking to get it for your first time, either way, click the link in the video description to find out more details on that front. So before I dive into these parameters and what they do and how to use them, what I wanna do is play you Frostbite on this synth right here. This is the synth sound unaffected. So while it's pretty cool, it definitely could be a lot better, and that's where Frostbite 2 comes in. So let's go ahead and listen to this example on a few different presets and then jump into the actual plugin itself and how to use it. All right, so there you go. A few presets for Frostbite 2 on that simple synth sound, make it sound anywhere from epic to ghostly to otherworldly to just a really nice reverb, in fact. So on the bass level, this is a spectral freezing plugin, and it has a freeze panel right here, and it's also been combined with a ring modulator and a feedback or delay section. There's a built-in LFO, and a master output module as well. There are quite a few factory presets. As you can see here, we only scratched the surface of what's available. And there's also the signature audio thing randomizer feature. We can of course lock parameters down from that. Say we want you know, the wet to be up all the time. I come in here, lock it. I'll get my little lock symbol. Let's say I don't want any dry because I'm trying to figure things out. Come in and lock that. You can see here I'm flipping through presets but my wet and my dry are staying at the same value. This is very helpful, especially if you're using Frostbite 2 on your return track or something of that nature. So let's check out the freeze panel. Uh, before I jump into that, actually, I do want to point out that if you look down here in the master, we have two different modes. We have serial mode or parallel mode. Parallel mode will mean that each one of these panels will process a stream of the audio coming in separately, and then it will combine those outputs together at the master output stage. Serial means whatever's on the left will process the sound and then send it into whatever's on the right. So in serial mode, right now we'll ring modulate it, then it will get sent into the freeze section, and then finally the feedback section. These are just drag and drop to reorder them. Very, very helpful, very, very smooth, and we love to see it. To turn any of these off, including the LFO, all you gotta do is click the off button. And to solo something, you just gotta make sure everything else is off and leave that one on. So that's what we're gonna do right now for the freeze section. This is the spectral freezing focus of Frostbite. There are three different modes in here. There are spectral, reverb, and convolution. Spectral uses FFT to store several analysis windows in memory and replay them randomizing their phases. Reverb is a classic reverb algorithm with multiple comb and all pass filters that can have an infinite decay. If I click that and then turn the fade all the way up past 99, you'll see that it's on infinite. And we'll check that out in a second. 
And finally, convolution multiplies the input signal with a randomly generated noise impulse up to 60 seconds. So choose which one you want, and I suggest trying all of them. All you need to do is flip to the other one, and you'll be able to uh, try it out on your sound. All three modes come with a fader. This is going to be the length or tail of it. The width is the stereo spread of the sound. There is a three band EQ that looks really good and you can actually see the spectrum inside of here. The clear button clears the cache. So if you have like an infinite fade here and the noise is just continually going, that's how you get it to stop. Each one of the three panels also has a balance or panning. The mix control for each one of the panels individually and separately, and then an output gain as well. So let's check out Spectral. Reverb. And now Convolution. So you'll see that each one of those has its own unique characteristics. From there, let's jump over to the ring modulator. Very straightforward. We have different shapes to choose from, sine, triangle, square, ramp up, ramp down, or random. So if we leave it on sine, we have the frequency control, which can be synced or unsynced. And we also have a stereo switch. From there, we have the filter, and if you click on the graphic here, we can have a low pass, high pass, band pass, or notch. Then we have a cutoff control and a resonance control as well. Something like the cutoff or frequency position set to the LFO is a great way to add movement. So for example, let's send this to the ring modulator frequency. can really begin to get some interesting sounds. From there, we jump over to the feedback or delay section. Very straightforward here as well. We have the delay time. And the amount, the delay time can be synced. There's also a ping pong option. And that delay signal can also be filtered with those same filter types cutoff, resonance, and then our three main controls here at the bottom. So obviously, once you start combining them, running them in serial, serial or parallel, and then rearranging the order of these panels, you can get some really interesting sounds. There are also the ability to resize the window if we want to go bigger here. We can choose to clear the freeze buffer on freeze, clear all buffers on a host reset, uh, that's the one I like to choose just because, you know, when I drop it on a new project, I don't want that buffer full. We can also copy and paste presets. This is where you would register, online menu, and so on. A really great tool, super easy to use, as I said, and you get some incredible results. If you want to find out more details, click the link in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.